An electric truck is an electric vehicle powered by batteries designed to deliver cargo. Electric trucks have been around in niche application areas for over a hundred years, but more recently the advent of lithium-ion batteries has enabled the range of electric trucks to increase to several hundred miles, making them of much wider applicability. Electric trucks are becoming an alternative to traditional trucks, while creating no local pollution. Due to the high efficiency of electric power trains, running costs are expected to be lower. Their simplicity is also supposed to make maintenance costs much lower, however, electric trucks are usually heavier than diesel trucks, the energy density of lithium-ion batteries is far less, so very long-range trucking requires recharging en route, causing delays, or the swapping of tractor units. History Types General trucks A few electric general lorries prototypes or produced by small manufacturers, and often converted diesel units, have been built until the 2000s. Trials with different companies in real-world conditions, for several months or more, have been conducted, for example with Renault, E-Force and Emos heavy-duty lorries in the 2010s. Renault launched its small electric Maxi T in 2010 and Mitsubishi Fuso its slightly larger Ecanta in 2017. From 2018, other major manufacturers including MAN, Mercedes-Benz and DAV began deliveries of prototypes or pre-production heavy-duty units to companies for real-world testing. In 2019, the first series production of heavy-duty lorries is expected to begin with notably Renault, Volvo and MAN. Pickup trucks In the late 1990s, Chevrolet produced a small series of an electric S10 pickup truck. In early 2009, Phoenix Motorcars introduced a test fleet of their all-electric SUT sports utility truck to Maui. Miles Electric Vehicles imported the Chinese-designed ZX40 ST electric small pickup in the United States in the late 2010s. Semi-trailer and tractor trucks The Port of Los Angeles and South Coast Air Quality Management District have demonstrated a short-range heavy-duty all-electric truck capable of hauling a fully loaded 40-foot cargo container. The current design is capable of pulling a 60,000 pounds kilograms cargo container at speeds up to 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometers per hour, and has a range of between 30 and 60 miles, 48 and 97 kilometers. It uses 2 kilowatt hours per mile, 1.2 kilowatts h per kilometer, 4.5 megajoules per kilometer, compared to 5 miles per US gallon, 47 l, 100 kilometers, 6.0 mpg imp. For the Hostler semi tractors, it replaces 0.1 US gallon, 0.83 imperial gallons, 3.8 liters of fuel 
fuel is equivalent to equals 33.7 kWh, according to the U.S. Department of Energy. This electric truck uses 2 kWh per mile which is the equivalent of using only 10 kWh per every 5 miles 8 km. The diesel truck that it replaces uses the equivalent of 33.7 kWh per 5 miles 8 km. Thus the diesel truck is using 3.37 times the amount of energy that the electric truck is using. Thus the only variables that are stopping commercial use of electric trucks are original vehicle cost and the driving range, owing to the high battery pack cost and low specific energy. As mass production happens the cost might eventually be comparable to diesel vehicles and with improvement in batteries the limited range of the electric truck might be a non-issue. Volvo, DAV, MAN, Freightliner plan to begin series production of electric articulated lorries between 2019 and 2020. Topic: Electric tractors. Electric tractors have been built since the 1990s. BYD does make electric tractors. Topic: Milk float. A common example of the battery electric trucks is the milk float. Since it makes many stops in delivering milk it is more practical to use an electric vehicle than a combustion truck, which would be idling much of the time, it also reduces noise in residential areas. For most of the 20th century, the majority of the world's battery electric road vehicles were British milk floats. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Garbage truck. With a similar driving pattern of a delivery vehicle like the milk float above, garbage trucks are excellent candidates for electric drive. Most of their time is spent stopping, starting or idling. These activities are where internal combustion engines are their least efficient. These and other factors such as ease of driver training resulted in Birmingham City Council opting to use electric dust carts to start replacing its horse-driven carts in 1918. Its use of electric vehicles continued through a number of models including DV4s until 1971. Electric dust carts were also operated by Sheffield and Glasgow. In preparation for the 2008 Olympic Games, 3,000 of the internal combustion engine garbage trucks in Beijing were replaced with lithium ion polymer battery pack electric drive trucks. The batteries were procured for about $3,300 each. In France, some all-electric garbage trucks produced by Power Vehicle Innovation have been operating since 2011 in the city of Courbevoie, the first local authorities in France to acquire them. In 2014, North America became home to its own electric garbage truck. Called the ERV electric refuse vehicle, it hit the road in Chicago in September 2014. It was the first of an up to $13.4 million purchase order for up to 20 trucks. The PO was won in a competitive bid by Motif Power Systems in 2012. The majority of the money used to purchase the first truck came from a DOE grant secured by then-Senator Barack Obama. 
The city of Chicago runs the Moti FRV on different residential refuse and recycling routes of up to 60 miles, saving 2,688 gallons a year. Chicago specified that this ERV must meet the demanding requirements placed on all of its garbage trucks. This included 60-mile range, a payload capacity of 9 tons and 1,000 pounds per cubic yard of compaction. These specifications make the ERV capable of use anywhere in Chicago. To supply enough electricity to move the truck and power the hydraulics all day, the ERV is equipped with 200 kWh of energy, in 10 battery packs. Full charge time is 8 hours using the Motif Universal Fast Charger. Right speed provides electric powertrain for garbage trucks and other medium-duty trucks. Topic: Off-road and mining truck. Some attempts to produce such lorries have been made, for example, the one by Papa Bravo. Topic: Models. Topic. Volvo AB Topic <inaudible> Renault Renault began selling an electric version of its Maxa T small lorry in 2010 Renault was the first to build heavy duty lorries, with various prototypes of electric Renault Midlam tested in real conditions by different customers for a few years from 2012. After these years of testing, Renault will commercialize its D and D wide lorries from 2019. They will be built in France alongside their Volvo counterparts. Topic Volvo. Volvo will launch their first mass-produced electric FE and FL lorries in early 2019. They will be built in France alongside their Renault counterparts. Topic Daimler AG. Topic Mitsubishi Fuso Mitsubishi Fuso began deliveries of the Ecanter in 2017. Topic Mercedes Benz Mercedes-Benz began delivering 10 Ectros units to customers in September 2018 for a two-year real-world test. Topic: <laughs> Freightliner. Freightliner began delivering EM2 lorries to Penske in December 2018, and will commercialize its larger E Cascadia in 2019. Topic: <laughs> Packer. Topic: <laughs> Dav. DAV delivered its first CF articulated lorry to Jumbo for testing in December 2018. It uses a VDL powertrain. Topic: <laughs> Volkswagen AG. Topic: <laughs> Man. 
Mann began delivering a dozen units of various ETGM lorries articulated, cooled, flatbed. In September 2018 for testing purposes with different customers. A small series production will take place before a larger serial production scheduled to begin in 2022. Topic. Models from smaller manufacturers Topic. E Force One Since January 2014, Coupe Switzerland operates in the region of Zurich an 18T truck with electric drive. 18 square meters of photovoltaic elements on the truck roof support the battery operation in addition. The truck has a capacity of 300 kilowatts. The solar panels on the roof of the truck along with the recuperation provides 23% of the total energy of the vehicle. The range of the truck is 240 km per day. The energy consumption is 130 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and after deduction of the energy from the solar system and recuperation it is about 100 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. A comparable diesel engine consumes about 3 times as much energy. The industry association Euro Solar European Solar Prize 2014 awarded in the category Transport and Mobility to Coop for the use of this electric truck. The truck, which the Swiss company E-Force had developed one AG weighs 8 tonnes, has a gross vehicle weight of 18 tonnes and costs 380,000 Swiss francs. It is about twice as expensive as a diesel version of the truck. The truck is based on an Iveco Stralis chassis. The converted in cash consumption is 10 francs per 100 km, with a diesel truck is 50 francs. According to Coop, the vehicle had a comparable diesel truck emissions concerning superior and equal in the economy. The truck has two Lifepo 4 batteries with a capacity of 120 kWh with a weight of 1300 kg. The battery can be replaced within 10 minutes. The truck E-Force 1 won the 2014 German Federal Eco Design, two vehicles of this electric truck coming since mid-2014 even at Lidl in Switzerland and a truck at the Feldschlossen Beverages Limited are used. Since June 2015, such a vehicle at the company Pista, Switzerland is in use. Even the shipping company Mayer Logistics uses such refrigerated trucks in Berlin. The truck consumes an average of 88 kilowatt hours per 100 km when used on the tours to city, intercity and highway routes. The company achieved energy savings by two-thirds compared to a diesel truck. The maintenance and the service life are not higher than a comparable diesel truck. The company wants to use other vehicles of this type. E-Highway In 2018, Siemens and the South Coast Air Quality Management District have launched an electrified highway demonstration project near the Los Angeles Port and Long Beach Port, using overhead lines to supply the trucks with electrical power instead of relying on onboard batteries. Topic: <laughs> Emos. 
From 2012, the eight Dutch companies Two Switch, O2O Stads Distributie, Deroy, Judicom, Heineken, Mondial Movers, Sligro and Top Movers each took a 100% electric truck with the name High Truck in operation. All trucks are customized solutions with different payloads up to 10 tons, batteries and packages range 150 to 200 kilometers. The Dutch company Emos Mobile was system for the production BV responsible from Oosterhout, Emos Short. Among them was a 19-ton electric motor truck of Heineken with 9-ton payload and 200 km range. With the use of which can be saved annually around 22 tons of CO2 and the emission of sulfur oxides SOX and nitrogen oxides NOx is suppressed. The last truck was delivered in July, 2014. Since autumn 2014, the Swiss company acts as a general agent of Secon AG Emos in Switzerland, Austria and Liechtenstein. In August 2013 the German discounter Teddy integrated a 12-ton Emos electric motor truck in its fleet to supply several stores in North Rhine-Westphalia. The range is about 200 km, but thanks to Opportunity charging a daily use profile of 300 to 400 km at one charge can be obtained. On the 22nd of May 2015, Emos celebrated the introduction of a 19 ton electric motor truck based Man TGM with cooling assembly and 10 ton trailer in a world premiere. The electric truck is used by Lidl Holland for goods distribution in the city center of Amsterdam. That means that up to 90 tons of CO2 per 100 km, can be saved. The 250 kW electric motor use LIFAPO 4 batteries with a capacity of 200 kWh, which are charged in less than 5 hours. On June 29, 2015, the company Niniverter put a 16 ton EMOS electric truck company into operation for the distribution of goods in Tampere, Finland. The Emos CM1616 base DAV LF55 has a 250 kilowatts engine with an instant torque of 2700 newton meters and 7 tons of payload. The Lifapo 4 batteries have a total capacity of 160 kilowatt hours and are protected from the very cold conditions by a special isolation device. With a fast charger full charging takes only 3.5 hours. <laughs> GGT Electric In 2011, GGT Electric, an automotive engineering, design and manufacturing company based in Milford, Michigan, introduced a new line of all-electric trucks for sale. GGT has developed LSV zero-emission electric vehicles for fleet markets, municipalities, universities, and state and federal government. The company offers four-door electric pickup trucks, electric passenger vans, and flatbed electric trucks with tilt and dump capability. <laughs> Hall truck The company Lithium Storage GmbH is building together with the company Kuhn Switzerland AG a battery-powered haul truck. The vehicle is to go the end of 2016 in operation. The dump truck weighs 110 tonnes. The chassis is a Komatsu 605-7. The vehicles have an electric motor with 800 horsepower and can thus produce 5,900 newton meters. 
The battery is a 600 kWh lithium-ion battery. For comparison, diesel vehicles of this type consume approximately 50,000 to 100,000 liters of diesel per year. Topic: <inaudible> Motif. <inaudible> In 2012, Motif Power Systems announced its electric powertrain control system (EPCS) could be scaled to power any type of truck, from shuttle buses and Class A school buses to work trucks, box trucks, and even 52,000 pounds (24,000 kilograms) garbage trucks. The Motif kit can be used with almost any new truck maker's chassis or for an older truck retrofit. Motif collaborates with existing truck manufacturers to allow them to sell electric options to their existing customers. <laughs> Newton Launched in 2006, the Newton electric truck is an all-electric commercial vehicle from Smith Electric Vehicles. The Newton comes in three GVW configurations, 7,500 pounds 3,400 kilograms, 10,000 pounds 4,500 kilograms, and 12,000 pounds 5,400 kilograms. Each is available in short, medium or long wheelbase. The truck was launched with a 120 kW electric induction motor from Innova Systems, driven by lithium-ion iron phosphate batteries supplied by Valence Technology. In 2012 Smith re-released the Newton with new driveline and battery systems that were developed in-house. Smith offers the battery pack in either 80 kWh or 120 kWh configurations. Newton was named Green Commercial of the Year in the Electric Vehicle section of Fleet Transport Magazine's Irish Truck of the Year Awards 2010, sponsored by Castrol. As of October 2012, the Newton is sold worldwide and available with three different payload capacities from 6,100 to 16,200 pounds, 2,800 to 7,300 kilograms. The lithium-ion battery pack is available in varying sizes that deliver a range from 55 to 110 miles 89 to 177 kilometers and a top speed of 50 miles per hour 80 kilometers per hour. Topic Papa Bravo Innovations In 2011, Papa Bravo Innovations, an electric vehicle design, manufacturing and engineering company based in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada introduced a full line of heavy-duty underground mining trucks. These off-road 4x4 trucks are the first of their kind, a one-ton platform with full-time four-wheel drive capability. They have been designed specifically for soft rock underground mining industries. The line of electric trucks ranges from one quarter ton utility vehicles to one ton trucks and a 12 passenger personnel transport vehicle. Topic: <laughs> Tiburg. BMW Group has commissioned an electrically powered 40-ton truck for transporting material on public roads. The vehicle comes from the Dutch manufacturer Teberg and commutes eight times a day between a logistics centre and the Munich BMW plant. 
The truck battery takes three to four hours to charge. When fully charged, the vehicle has a range of up to 100 km. Thus, the electric truck can theoretically complete a full production day without any additional recharging. Compared to a diesel engine truck, the electric truck will save 11.8 tons of CO2 annually. See also